Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over LinkedIn Spotlight ads and how you can create them. So let's jump into it. So first off, I'm gonna show you some examples here. So I'm logged into my LinkedIn account, and I was going through my feed, and this is a Spotlight ad. It shows on the right side of the feed on desktop, and it composes of a few different elements. So it has a description that can show at the top, and then it has the user that you're targeting. It has their profile image. So this is an ad from Upwork targeting me. So I have my profile image there. And then it, you can have the logo, the company logo, or you can upload a one-to-one -to -one image there. And then it has the headline text here and then a call to action that's gonna click to a landing page. So that's the setup of the ad. And I'll show you a couple other examples in my feed. In this example, it's a little bit longer um, of a description the company logo, the company name, and then a learn more call to action. This uh, I, I visited this website, so I know this is a retargeting ad here. And then this is an ad from LinkedIn recruiting, but uh, so they have the description here. And then again, my profile image, uh, image there, and uh, get started. So now I'm gonna show you what objectives that you can use the Spotlight ad format in. So for the Spotlight ad here, I'll highlight this row. And where the X's are, these are the different objectives that you can use a Spotlight ad. So you can use it under brand awareness, website visits, talent leads, that's more on the recruitment side, and website conversions and job applicants. So on the, the recruitment side there as well. Mainly I use them in the website visits objective. So trying to get users to click and visit a landing page and engage with them. And usually I use Spotlight ads in, with retargeting audiences. So retargeting users that already engage with your website or already clicked an ad. So if you're running ads to a cold audience on LinkedIn um, or other channels and they're visiting your website and that you know they already engage with you, we're putting these Spotlight ads in front of them to continue to nurture them, um, share content, build trust and credibility, also push some stronger call to actions and leading them to a website to continue to engage and nurture them. So next I'm gonna show you how to set them up. So we're gonna go into the campaign manager account and I'm gonna go into an existing campaign group and then I'm gonna create a campaign and I'll click next here and I'll just put spotlight ad here and we're gonna use the website visits objective because we want users to engage with these spotlight ads and click to a specific landing page. So I'll click that. And then I'm not gonna go into detail of all the setup, but this is where you're gonna set up your audience, your location targeting, your audience attributes. I usually always keep enable audience expansion off. And then we're gonna select the spotlight ad format. And then um, these aren't going to show on the LinkedIn ad audience network, so that's not available there. And typically, I always keep that off. And then you would set your budget here in your bidding. And if you have any conversions, set that there. Again, I'm not going in detail, but I'm just going to show you actually how to set up the ad here. And then this is where you create your ad. So you click Create Ad. And I like to use this format here to draft ads. So um, we have the logo here, my headline. The headline has to be within 50 characters and the description has to be within 70 characters. And then the call to action, the CTA has to be within 18 characters. And then you can select your homepage. So with clients, I draft these out and then they review and after it's approved, um, I'll get the spotlight ad set up. So for this example, I'm gonna just pick this. So I'm gonna click copy this headline here and I'm gonna paste in this headline. And then kindly marketing is the company name and um, I don't have an image uh, selected here, but I'm gonna just put one in for reference. So if your company page already has an image, uh, it will show there on the side. And again, I like to have the profile image on in most cases, so we're gonna keep the user's profile on. You can add a background image, but it's not gonna show your description or the user's profile image. So I'm gonna keep that off. And we have our headline. Our company name stays the same. I just upload a, a image here, but you'll see your company page logo there. And if you wanna add something else there, you can. And the description is optional, so we'll put that there. And then we'll put our call to action. And then I'll put my landing page. I'll just use my home page of my website. And we'll put that there. So you can see it's pretty straightforward to set up. Uh, again, I have the description at the top, and then I have the, the headline here and the call to action, it's gonna to go to my homepage. 
This is just an example of how to set it up, but uh, this would be towards, in this example, like a retargeting audience. So they already engaged with um, my website in some capacity probably, so they're gonna be somewhat familiar. And then you're gonna click Save Ad here, and then it's gonna save your ad. So and then you can continue to add in um, different variations into the campaign. So it's always good to have multiple variations and depending on your audience size uh, and your frequency, you wanna make sure you have enough uh, creatives in there where it's, they're not seeing the same thing over and over in most cases. And then you can always click this setting here and optimize for performance or you can have it rotate ads evenly. So if you wanna test which spotlight ads uh, have better performance, uh, you can set it up evenly and, and monitor things and kind of do A-B testing there. So. Then you would click next and launch the campaign and that's how you set up spotlight ads. So if you have any questions on that or anything LinkedIn ads related, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out and thanks for watching and have a great day.